Germany has just made a critical move that could change the future of electric vehicles in Europe. As the European Union and China gear up for a showdown over EV tariffs, the stakes couldn't be higher. In this video, at your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit, we'll break down Germany's strategic decisions and how they might reshape the automotive industry. From looming trade wars to new alliances in the EU, the ripple effects will be massive. Buckle up as we uncover the seven key reasons this matters for buyers and manufacturers. Reason number seven, rising tensions over Chinese EVs. The electric vehicle market has surged recently, driven by rising consumer demand and technological advancements. However, tensions have emerged between the EU and China, as European manufacturers voice concerns over the influx of competitively priced Chinese EVs, viewing it as unfair competition. This sentiment stems from allegations that state subsidies allow Chinese automakers to sell vehicles at prices European companies can't match. To address these concerns, the European Commission has launched investigations into the pricing practices of Chinese EVs. As discussions about tariffs and trade regulations intensify, EU member states are frustrated, struggling to balance competition and fair practices. Can the EU navigate these challenges without hindering its growth? Reason number six. Germany's central role. Germany is at the heart of the evolving trade dispute, significantly influencing EU policy as the continent's largest car producer. Vice Chancellor Robert Habeck advocates for a balanced approach, prioritizing dialogue over confrontation, given Germany's reliance on its automotive sector. By abstaining from the initial advisory vote on tariffs, Germany seeks to protect domestic manufacturers while fostering constructive discussions. This strategy reflects a nuanced understanding of the risks of a trade war, especially against rising competition from firms like BYD and NEO. Germany's decisions will not only shape the EU's immediate response to Chinese competition, but also the long-term strategy for electric mobility in Europe. Reason number five, the divide among EU member states. The debate over tariffs has exposed deep divisions among EU member states. Germany and Spain favor dialogue and negotiation, while Poland, Italy, and Hungary push for protective measures to support local production. This rift complicates the EU's ability to present a united front, undermining its negotiating power with China. These differing views reflect varied economic interests. Some countries prioritize protecting their domestic industries against lower-priced Chinese EVs, while others advocate for competition and innovation, warning that protectionism could stifle growth in the automotive sector. These internal divisions raise critical questions about the future of European cooperation and strategy. If member states cannot agree on a unified response, it may weaken the EU's position in global trade negotiations, setting a troubling precedent. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next point. Reason number four, consequences for the German automotive sector. Discussions about tariffs are significantly impacting Germany's automotive landscape. Recent data shows that battery electric vehicles, or BVs, made up only 13.7% of total sales in August, marking a staggering 68.8% decline from the previous year. This drop raises concerns about the health of Germany's auto industry, a global leader in automotive excellence. Several factors contribute to this downturn. Shifting consumer preferences, influenced by economic conditions and sustainability concerns, are leading many to reconsider their vehicle choices. Additionally, increased competition from Chinese manufacturers puts pressure on German automakers, making it challenging to match innovative features and pricing. The uncertainty surrounding potential tariffs exacerbates these issues, deterring manufacturers from investing in new technologies. This downturn could have lasting consequences, impacting jobs and economic stability across the region. Reason number three, risks of retaliation from China. As tensions rise between the EU and China, the likelihood of a retaliatory cycle increases. Chinese officials, 
including Commerce Minister Wang Wentao, have criticized the proposed tariffs as protectionist and warned that retaliatory actions could impact various sectors beyond automotive. Such responses could disrupt trade relations and escalate into a broader trade war, affecting not just the automotive industry, but also global supply chains and consumer markets. This situation necessitates strategic diplomacy, as both regions must tread carefully to avoid worsening tensions. An overly aggressive approach could provoke backlash and jeopardize economic stability. Maintaining open dialogue channels is crucial for both the EU and China as they navigate these complex trade dynamics. Reason number two, the significance of the tariff vote. As the vote on proposed tariffs approaches, its outcome will significantly impact EU-China trade relations. The European Commission's investigation into Chinese EV pricing practices highlights the need to scrutinize market behaviors and state subsidies. This vote is pivotal, as it could either promote fair competition or escalate tensions. Various stakeholders are closely monitoring how this decision will affect the automotive landscape. Manufacturers worry about the impact of tariffs on pricing and market access, while consumers are concerned about potential changes in choices and prices for EVs. The implications extend beyond immediate market reactions. They could reshape international trade dynamics and influence the EU's broader economic strategy. Ultimately, this vote will define the future of electric vehicles in Europe and their global standing, with lasting effects on the entire automotive ecosystem. Reason number one, the future of electric vehicles in Europe. As new tariffs loom, the future of electric vehicles in Europe hangs in the balance. The EU's decisions could either protect local manufacturers or hinder the competition that drives innovation. This is a critical moment for the European automotive sector, shaping its trajectory. Consumers play a central role, as their preferences increasingly lean toward EVs amid growing sustainability concerns. However, rising prices from tariffs may deter potential buyers, complicating the shift to electric mobility. Manufacturers might invest in innovative technologies to enhance their offerings or focus on cutting production costs to stay competitive. Policymakers must also guide this transition, influencing infrastructure development and consumer incentives. Striking a balance between economic strategies and automotive implications is vital for the EU's global competitiveness. Conclusion A Crossroads for European Automotive Europe stands at a crucial crossroads as decisions on EV tariffs and trade relations with China could significantly impact the automotive industry. The potential for a trade war may alter the sector's dynamics, affecting innovation, consumer choices, and economic stability. Germany's diplomatic strategy may provide a blueprint for balancing protectionism with global cooperation. However, internal divisions among EU member states complicate the creation of a unified response that addresses diverse interests. In this rapidly evolving landscape, stakeholders must remain vigilant and adaptable. The future of electric vehicles in Europe hangs in the balance, and how the EU navigates these challenges will shape its automotive industry's global standing. As we wrap up, what are your thoughts on the potential impacts of tariffs on electric vehicles in Europe? Share your experiences and insights in the comments section. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the future of automotive innovation. Be sure to subscribe to Piston Pundit to stay updated on all the latest vehicle developments and upcoming videos. See you next time.